question for you guys, uh, those who want to attempt it. Although this is recommended that you practice the questions presented in class. Uh, I'm going to launch the poll. You can record your answers over there. And please don't say anything till the time we are going to discuss so that we don't uh, influence others with our idea. So after every ECO task or uh, every topic discussion, we are going to practice one to two questions so that you get a flavor of how exam questions are done. Based on today's discussion, um, this is a very easy, very basic level question. Exam questions are not going to look like this. This is of course practice question, but let's see how you guys perceive it. So those who are present in the class, I really uh, appreciate the idea that all of you take part of it. Uh, In the exam, you would not have uh, too much time available to answer a question. But in the class, I usually provide, you know. Uh, how do I access the poll? You are not able to see it. Uh, no. If you are not able to see it, then answer to me in a direct question. I found it, found it, found it, found it. Okay. If there are others in the class who are not able to see the poll, please uh, answer to me in a direct question message not to everyone but to, in a direct message to me okay i believe uh, okay two more seconds and then we are going to discuss it okay so let's lock it i believe those who wanted to attempt it so this is a picture right 10 people have attempted it and 70% are saying it's D. Some 10, 10, 10% 10 are saying A, B, C. Okay, who would want to explain it? Because I have already explained it in pretty much detail in the class. So this is a very obvious idea that we have already talked about. So maybe I would want to hear your perspective now. Who wants to volunteer and explain uh, the answer? So D is the right answer to this question. So someone who has selected D. Yes, Amma? Please go ahead. Uh, the, uh, explanation to the answer. Yeah, the question is that the organization is applying for some certification level and that set of documentation is mandatory. So as a scrum master, how would we address this problem? Uh, if, uh, in this question that the task has been, or you can say our project been assigned to a scrum master to complete the documentation of uh, that is required for the CMMI level five certification. In the option A, it says reject the documentation requirement as Scrum Master believes in just good enough. Uh, as per Agile Manifesto, it says that there should be less documentation, but as a Scrum Master, I cannot reject anything that is being assigned by me or assigned to me, sorry. So the option A has been rejected. Talk to the process compliance team and explain how Scrum team focus on value delivery. Anything else is considered as a waste. Uh, Scrum team cannot decide themselves. Uh, 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 is it that documentation part is a waste thing or what? So this also, option is also rejected. Option C, discuss with sponsor and seek her support in removing the extra documentation requirement. As the question says, it's a certification requirement and everything is mandatory. So we cannot ask to remove, you can say, a, some partial documentation part. So the last option, D, adopt to the organization uh, documentation requirements and prepare them. So the right answer is D. That's As correct. My... Yes, yes. Uh, very very uh, well said. The only thing that I want to add on top of what Hamad has uh, very rightly said is, see, we have already talked about that while discussing the manifesto that 
Agile doesn't say that you don't need documentation at all. Agile says that only work on the artifacts, plans, documents, uh, samples, SOPs, uh, templates, or, or checklists or whatever you need, but use that as well in your process, right? Don't just create and keep that in the folders and then nobody's going to have a look at that. Uh, so don't create uh, or don't lose your effort or your resources in that kind of mindset. This in the question is clearly stated that this is part of a, uh, you know, standardization. So CMI my level five is a standardization uh, requirement. Even if you don't know it, you can sense that this is kind of a certification, which is part of some standard, right? Uh, so you don't need to know it. Uh, uh, any kind of specific industry level knowledge is not needed. We just have seen that in the intro to uh, PMP part. But you can see that this is a certification which mandates a set of documentation. So that keyword is pretty much uh, there to help you out that this is not a good enough documentation or a wasted effort or an extra documentation. So A, B, and C are going to be eliminated on that grounds. Also, for a certain kind of documentations or prioritization, work level prioritization or do's and don'ts of the process, you don't usually go to the sponsor until and unless it's an escalated, uh, like an escalated issue or risk, which is not the case, right? So uh, discussing with a sponsor, nevertheless, is not going to be a thing, and uh, you are not you, you should not be considering as a extra documentation. This is not an extra documentation for sure. So this uh, the answer to this question is adapting to the organizational documenting requirement because it's part of a standardization requirement, compliance requirement, and it's a mandatory set of documentation. Uh, that certification process is not going to proceed forward until it's going to be fulfilled. As simple as that.